Here we are in the June Ought 9 exam. We're on page 12 now. Questions 68 and 69 refer to a ray of monochromatic light of this particular frequency. It goes from air into lucite. It does so at an angle of incidence of 30 degrees. Calculate the angle of refraction. Show all work, including the equation and substitution with units for two points. So let's start by listing our knowns. We're in air, which has an index of refraction, going into lucite, which has an index of refraction. Something else, we can look those up on our table of indices of refraction for this particular uh, wave frequency of light. Air is 1.00, and lucite is 1.5. So 1.00. 1.50 and it hits an angle of in incidence of 30 degrees of course we're looking for the angle of refraction angle two angle of refraction well in the formulas we find that uh, n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 so we write n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2. We want to solve for theta 2, so we divide both sides by n2. Then we take the inverse sine of both sides, and that gives us theta 2. Simply plugging in our knowns, 1.00 times the sine of 30 degrees, divided by 1.50. Get your calculator out. Don't forget to take this inverse sine of your answer. If you do this, you get 0.3 repeating. And then if you take the inverse sine of it, you get an angle of refraction equal to 19.47 degrees. That's worth two points. Question 69. Use a protractor and a straight edge on the diagram in your answer booklet. Draw the refracted ray for a point. So there's 30 degrees, hopefully. We want to draw about 19 and a half degrees. We always line up with our normal. Then come down here just shy of 20 degrees. About 19 and a half. And then we want to uh, draw that ray. And there it is. And I line up with my laser, and it looks like it uh, will actually happen like that. As it comes out through here. Don't forget, you always get a reflected ray whenever you hit a boundary. Okay, that one's done. Questions 70 through 72 refer to a photon with a frequency of 5.48 times 10 to the 14 hertz. It's emitted when an electron in a mercury atom falls to a lower energy level. The idea is that as an electron falls, it can give up a photon. And we know its frequency. Question 70. Identify the color of light associated with the photon. All right. Well, in our chart of the electromagnetic spectrum, we go to the area on visible light, and the bottom is frequency. For the, so these are frequencies. So we're looking for, uh, what are we looking for? 5.48. And that falls 5.2 up to 6. So 5.48 would fall into the green end of the spectrum. I love green. So we can write green for a point. We want to calculate the energy of the photon in joules, including work. Show work, equation, so for two points. So what do we know about this stuff? We know the frequency is equal to uh, 5.48 times 10 to the 14 hertz. We know from our formula sheet, and now we're in modern physics, you know the energy of a photon is HF. So we're looking for the energy and we can look up H. That's Planck's constant. That should be on the front somewhere. 
And uh, Mike's constant turns out to be 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. So 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And then we do uh, the equation. Energy is equal to HF. Energy is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And we multiply it by our frequency, which is 5.48 times 10 to the 14. And uh, the units of hertz really means waves per second. Seconds will cancel out, leaving us units of uh, joules. And uh, that's what they want, the answer in joules. So we need to uh, find the calculator and plug in those numbers. And I'm getting 3.63 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. This waves is kind of a, it's a pulse of light, it's a wave of light. There's some debate on that. Um, but we, uh, we really don't use that in our unit, so joules. And question 72, for one point, determine the energy in electron volts. All right, well, I need to do a little work. I've got uh, 3.63 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And uh, how do I change that to electron volts? Well, after looking around my formula sheet, I've got this thing that says 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So I can say um, uh, I've got a conversion factor. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules is an electron volt. Or an electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Now these are called conversion factors. Either way, uh, that's equal to that, and that's equal to that. So I can just invert them. It's the same thing. I'm going to decide which one do I want. Well, I want to get rid of joules and have electron volts on top, so I need to use this one, which means I need to divide 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per electron volt, and when I uh, I do my division, I'm left with electron volts. So it's another calculator problem. And just to make life easier, I can cancel out the negative 19 as well, times 10 to the... So it's 3.63, 3.63 divided by 1.6. It's going to be 2 something. 2.26 EVs. Go put that down. Look, they got the unit waiting for you. 2.26 electron volts. We're finished with that page.